I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I want to talk about staging your prostate cancer using a bone scan, a relatively simple technique aimed at determining if cancer has spread into the bones. The test is easy to perform. Some material is injected into your arm. You then spend time lying on a table or a series of pictures are obtained. So a bone scan is easy to do. The question is, is it appropriate to do? Does it give us useful information? And the answer is, today, with most of the cancers diagnosed, a bone scan does not prove to be very useful. Who's a good candidate? Well, probably those men whose PSA is greater than 20 nanograms per milliliter. Why do we restrict it, or why do we think we should restrict it to those men? Here's the explanation. If I take 100 men who have a PSA test that is less than 20, the odds of finding cancer in the bones are only about 0.3%. That means three people per thousand will have cancer present in the bones. However, if I do a bone scan, I will find abnormal findings in about 13% of the patients. In other words, a lot of men are going to be told that there is something wrong when there's nothing wrong, really, nothing related to cancer. The bone scan is not a very specific test, which means there are many things that can show up as being abnormal beside being cancer. And if you do get a bone scan and it shows an abnormality, we're going to have to order additional tests. That may include x-rays, CAT scans, possibly an MRI, and in some small number of cases, we may actually have to recommend that you undergo a biopsy of a bone in order to find out whether what we see is from cancer or for something else. The good news today is that if your PSA is low, and the vast majority of men have PSAs under 10, that you do not really need to go through this test. Now, around the country, there's still a controversy. Many doctors still will recommend that the test be done. And if that's done in your case, and your PSA is low, you want to ask your doctor, are there, what are the odds that I'm going to benefit from this test? What are the odds that I'm not? You're going to find that most doctors who order the test really may not be so fully informed about the statistics that we have available so that most men do not need this test performed. It's unnecessary. It doesn't provide useful information. When the PSA is low, the odds of benefiting are extremely small. And of course, it can lead to unnecessary tests and sometimes pain and discomfort. So bottom line, Bone scan, while helpful for some men with a new diagnosis of cancer, is not helpful for most cases. Now, if you have cancer and it's been present and it's been treated and now we're worried about recurrence, later on there are good indications to do a bone scan. When the PSA is rising, for example, we know that if you've had surgery or if you've had radiation, the PSA is rising it's possible that cancer can spread into the bones. But even then, there's a debate about when should you get a bone scan when you've had treatment in the past. Most people think that the odds of benefiting probably are still pretty small unless the PSA reaches 10. That's a good threshold to order a bone scan when you've been treated before and now your PSA is recurring. If you have more advanced disease and we know the cancer is in your bones, well, that's a totally different story. We want to periodically check on the bone scan to see if things are changing. So, localized disease that's never been treated before, PSA is going to be the indication as to whether you need a bone scan. For recurrent disease, a PSA of 10 is a good indication. And if you've had cancer in the bones before, then changes in your PSA or changes in the level of your pain will be indications to do the test. Thank you.